So once again say it along with me. J. J means I. Q. Do you remember what Q means? Yes. It means you. Il means he. L means she. Nu means we. Vu also means you. Il means they. L also means they. So say it with me once again. J, Q, Il, L, Nu, Vu, Il, L. Now that we have learned the subject pronouns, let us move on to the next part of a sentence, which is the verb. There are many types of verbs in French. Today, we are going to learn a particular type of verbs which are called the ER verbs. Can we see what they are? First of all, what are verbs? Verbs are action words. The words which indicate the action that we are doing are called verbs. In French, majority of the verbs end with ER. For example, let us take the verb parler. Parler means to speak. Notice that this verb ends with ER. So it is called an ER verb. Another example is the word manger. Manger means to eat. So these are just some of the verbs. Now let us see how to conjugate these verbs. That is, in for each subject pronoun, we have a different way in which we write the verb. So shall we see? So let us take the example of the first word that I told you. Parle. For ER verbs, the conjugation is as follows. So, um, for je, we say, je parle. For tu, Je parle. The pronunciation is almost the same. It's just the spelling that varies. And all ER verbs have the same type of ending. So watch this carefully. For il, it is il parle. For l, it is el parle. For nu, it is nu parlant. Nu parlant. For vu, it is vu parle. For il, it is il parlant. For L, it is L parlant. Now, if you notice, the changes that we have made are in the word, we removed E and R, and instead of that, we place E for je, for Q, we place ES, for IL, we place E, for L, we place E, for NU, we place O and S. For VU, we placed E, Z. For IL, we placed E and T. And for L also, we placed E and T. Now, this is the ground rule for the verbs ending with ER. 
all the verbs ending with er we will conjugate it by removing er the letters er and we will replace them with e for sure es for tu e for ill e for l o n s for nu e z for vu e n t for ill and e n t for l so you need to learn just the endings so if we say for er verb the endings are e e s e e o n s e z e n t e n t so shall we take the example of another verb let us take the word travaye travaye means to work notice that it ends with er so can you tell me once more what is the ending the conjugation ending for the words that end with er e e s e e o n s e z e n t e n t so shall we fill it up so j so what would we say for j we would remove e and r and replace it with e so j travail for tu we would remove e and r and we would replace it with yes e s e s for il the ending is e for l it end with e do you remember what is the ending for nu yes it is o n s we will just remove er and replace it with o n s so vu we would replace er with e z for il we replace it with e n t and for l we would replace it with e n t now if you translate this it means i work you work he works she works we work you work they work and they work so i hope you have understood the conjugation for the er verbs